Welcome to this practical tutorial of BISDN Linux. In this video, we will log into our switch and show off a few basic commands on the switch. And then finally, we will go on to configure the switch for a simple layer 2 scenario. This assumes you already installed BISDN Linux to your switch, and if you haven't already done so, we have a guide linked in the description. Now we will continue to our switch. In order to access the switch for the first time, you need to use SSH with the user base box. Then, add the IP address or host name of your switch and press enter. In order to log in for the first time, use the default login credentials and the password is b-isdn. If you can see the BISDN Linux logo, you know your installation has been successful. You should immediately change the password to avoid other people gaining access to your switch. This is simple. Just run the password command passwd. Enter the old password b-isdn and now enter your new safe password. Now that we have secured our switch, we can take a quick look around the switch. For those who are used to the Linux terminal, this should be very familiar. We can print the working directory. We can list files in the current directory. We can list all IPv4 addresses or we can ping the Linux Foundation. Now, if we run IP link show, this command will list all available network devices. The ports named port 1 to port 56 are the switch data ports that are available on our switch and that we are now able to configure. Now let's move on to our switch configuration example. We have two servers and we want to send packets from server 1 on the left to server 2 on the right. We'll do this by first cabling both servers to our switch. Then we will create a bridge on our switch and attach both data ports to the bridge. And this is all the configuration that is needed on the switch. We now have layer 2 connectivity between our servers. In order to test the connection, we will also add IPv4 addresses to our servers and then we'll use the ping tool to see that our connection works. Let's get going. So we are back on our switch and we'll start by creating a bridge using the IP tool from IP Route 2. In order to do this, we first need to switch to the root user with sudo su. In order to confirm that we are the root user, we run the command who am I? Now, to create the bridge, we'll start by running IPLink add. This creates a virtual network device. Name SW Bridge. This gives the network device a name. Type Bridge. This specifies what kind of device we want, which is an Ethernet bridge device, or simply a bridge. Then, VLAN filtering 1 and VLAN default PVID 1. This means we have a VLAN filtering bridge, and the PVID means that any untagged traffic that arrives on the link will be automatically tagged as being in VLAN 1. To show some information about the bridge, we can run IP link show SW bridge. Here we can see that the bridge was successfully created. Its state is still down, and we still have to add ports to it. We can change the state with IP link set SW bridge up. And now we will set the data ports up and add them to the bridge. Let's start by changing the state of port 1 to up. Now let's do the same thing for port 20. Now we attach port 1 to the bridge. And we simply repeat the command to attach port 20 to the bridge as well. Now, if you rerun the IP link show command, we see that our bridge is up. The switch configuration is done and we can proceed to setting up our servers. Let us add some IP addresses to our servers so we can do the connectivity check. We'll start on server 1.
We first give our link the IP address 10.0.0.1/24, and then we set the link up. Now we move on to server 2. We give the link on server 2 a different IP address in the same subnet, 10.0.0.2/24. And then we also set the link up. And finally, we can check the connectivity between our servers by doing a ping. Ping 10.0.0.2. And as we can see, we're getting a reply from server 2. We have now successfully set up a simple Mac learning switch. If you want to configure a switch for other use cases, we have a wide selection of examples available on our documentation page, docs.bisdn.de. Under the Network Configuration tab, you can find examples on how to set up things like BGP, VXLAN, and several other protocols. Thank you for watching.